all right in this video we are going to see how to create this WooCommerce website so you can see in this website we are selling water bottles so these are the list of categories in this website you can see this is a banner we have menus and this is aluminium products and these are glass products and these are stainless steel products now these are the products which is listed as sale you can see this is two percent sale and this is on sale and this is six percent and this is thirteen percent sale so we are going to see how to add this in the home page we have created this with elementor and this is some about section and this is the featured project products and then we have used we have the coupon code of fifty percent offer so let me show you the shop page if i click on shop page you will see all the listed products so overall we have four categories and uh, each category has two products and we can filter it by price as well let me filter it down to something like 500 rupees so these are the bottles which is available below 500 rupees now let me click on the shop again so these are the list of products available in our shop now we can list this display them by uh, category as well if I click on aluminium you'll see these aluminium products and these are glass products and these are steel products now in case if you want to view either one so we have created two products two type of product the first one is variable product and the first second one is simple product simple product is simply this one let me open this this is an example of simple product and let me show you the example of variable product as well so for the variable product you will see the price will range from one amount to the other amount so this would be the right one let me click this so this is the variable product now first let me show you the simple products so you can see we have a featured image section and uh, this is a carousel as well you can click this is a two-way carousel and you can see there's a thumbnail image and this is a description of the image so I would recommend you to skip the description I have used the same description for all the bottles available in the website now you can see this is the title and then we have price so once we get down you will see this is a full screen you can see the product in full screen as well you can close it by here now it says only 100 left so you can increase the uh, increase or decrease the quanti the quantity of the product you want to add and this is the SQ and this is the category now we have description the description which you this is short description and this is long description now we can leave a review as well now this is the related product so let me show you this is a simple product so by simple product you can see there is no variation of color or variation of size so if you see the variable product you'll see it, the, it has the color options now this is blue this is green let's just look at the middle bottle and this is blue again red and finally the yellow so the price range from 700 to 1300 so this is the description again you can filter down by size you can see 500 milli actually I have a plugin I think it's deactivated let me activate it and show you so I have activated the plugin now you can see the buttons so we have the size variation of 2 which is 500 milliliter and 1000 milliliter and these are the color options if I on 500 milliliter we have two colors yellow and red so you can see the price is displayed here now let me clear this for 100,000 milliliter we have blue options and we have green option so this is the variable product which attri with attribute again everything is same you can see this is a related products to this plastic bottle now let me show you the functionality for the functionality I would get into the I would like to get into the incognito mode so I want to create an account to, sh to show you you can see I'm already logged in that's why I'm using uh, that's why I'm using sorry for that I should click on this account dashboard and log out so by default my account is created that's the reason I am getting into the incognito mode so let me purchase a bottle from here so let me choose this this is again a variable product that's why it's showing the price range from 400 to 900 so let me pick let me pick up uh, we have 1000 milli milliliter then we have 760 milliliter clear this so let me add this to the cart 1000 milliliter add to cart so this is the wish list sorry I'm getting into the checkout page 
so before that let me show you what are the things we are going to cover here we are going to add google payment good gpay payment gpay payment on woocommerce the second one is single product and variable product we are going to create it and we are going to see how to gst how to calculate tax with gst and uh, finally the coupon code if you if you see we have a coupon code on the bottom let me click on this home page on the footer you will see the coupon code which gives you 50% off we'll see how to redeem it as well now it says this is the total amount we are paying the GST and CGST the actual amount is 900 and uh, calculating the GST the GST for water bottle is 12 percent so 12 percent we are getting we are adding 108 rupees now we need to fill the form in order to check this out while filling this form I have added the we need to create the account as well as a process of filling this form so let me do something make some random values I'm just using the auto filled value let us see Maharashtra pin code phone number phone number is not coming email is not coming Agdal GNLDR gmail dot com we need to get an email so let me use this admin and admin one two three four it should be strong or else it won't let you log in control zero so admin one two three and the admin is our credential we need to pass the GP so I'm going to use my iPhone one OK access AX cool so we have to pass this value in order to check this out proceed to payment so it says account is already registered with that username admin 28 let me pick this username so it is showing you to scan this once you scan this you will be asked to pay 1008 rupees so after doing all this uh, after paying this you should see the account the product has been ordered so on the dashboard and on the o-commerce section you will see orders so if you see admin admin is what we have created right now and the payment is pending because I haven't paid cool now let me show you how to use the coupon code let me get into the home page so let me choose a portal before that let me copy the coupon code let me use this add to cart where is second option let me choose black it is 100 left remove this and check this out it get all the details out of it I think we have to add at the GP value again in, in enter the coupon code now you should see so we have 50 percent off it's working now the same way we need to proceed the payment I need to scan the code and the only problem is after scanning it you can check on the account your order on the order it will show you the payment is on hold so it will only get reflected it uh, by default I, at present I have not paid it that's the reason it's pending payment after scanning and sending the amount it will say hold what you have to do is you have to get into the product and uh, click on it and uh, make this payment as completed so that's it the introduction of this video let's get working let's get into the tutorial so before that this we are in the episode number six so I have created online cake shop online watch shop online bag online refrigerator online mobile shop and this is our sixth website which is online water bottle
cool I'll leave this link of the playlist in the description in case if you are interested in learning just follow the code so the very first thing we need to we need a ZAMP so I have ZAMP running on my machine which is uh, cross-platform Apache, MySQL, PHP and Perl so these two are running now we need a WordPress folder uh, you, you can get this WordPress folder from the wordpress.com so I have already downloaded get rid of this amp, docs, WordPress copy this folder after unzipping it you will get this folder you will get this folder I'm just copy pasting it so uh, once you get into this you have to get into local post and PHP my admin so here in the PHP my admin what you have to do is you need to create a database so by the time you'll see the it is getting copied you need to create a database and you need to use the database name in the wizard that's how we are getting into PHP my, SQ, my admin so this page will open you have to click on new once you click on new you need to use the database name so we'll use water hyphen water hyphen 2 because we have already we have used the same name over here that's why I'm using the fix too after everything is done you just need to close this tab we don't need this tab as well so let's wait till this completes so after this uh, to follow along I'll what I'll do is I'll leave the uh, link of the source code not the source code but the images which I have used in this video in the description in case if you are interested you can just follow along with me so I think it's copied so it's over here let's replace this and give the same name as we have given it to the database name so we have to run the wizard localhost we have to call the folder name after the localhost we have to run this wizard English, make sure English is selected click on continue now it starts asking for database credential so the database name which we have created is this one and the default username is root and the password is none click on submit now you have to click run the installation you can have anything I'm just giving my channel name admin admin since it's localhost I'm using the weak password click on install so once it's get installed it will redirect to the login page we have to use the same credential which we have created in the previous slide now we need to install a theme, get into the appearance themes and uh, you need to click on add the theme we are going to use is host5 click on enter and uh, this is the theme, click on install just click on activate now it's time to install the plugin click on add new we have some list of plugins that need to be installed the first thing is elementor click on install do not activate now. We'll use bulk weather to activate it. Let's search for WooCommerce now. And then we need to install variation swatches. So note the author, click on install and then we have WooCommerce wishlist and then finally we have the QR code look for this one click on install once you install all click on the installed plugin and then simply click on this button and activate click on apply so now all the plugins are activated now we just need to create so before creating click on the general setting then you open it up title and description let leave, let's leave it as it is anyone can register that's when we can able to uh, create account or else it won't work and uh, just click on save changes on writing let me create a new page we don't want to do anything here once I name this as home I need to set the so on the reading this is the place where we need to modify it so we don't have to do anything here make sure the page select uh, click on this 
I hope it won't get updated. You have to refresh this in order to uh, make this home page available on this particular page. Click on static, home, save change. So once you get into this page, let me if you type this URL, this URL is your whatever www dot whatever dot com. So this is the home page which we need, which we will be creating in a minute. So this is done. In discussion, we don't have to change anything here. And then the thumbnail size, we don't have to do anything here. Permalink. Click on the post name and click on save changes. On the privacy, we don't have to do anything here. Now edit this with edit with Elementor. Make sure the permalink is selected to post name and close this. If you want the header to be changed, click on the customize. So site identity, upload the logo, which is in the folder which I which I'll be leaving this in the description. Click on select, drop the logo. So you should see the logo here in a minute. You can decrease the size. Now it's time for the header to change its color. Let's use the CSS code. Publish. It will only turn the menu color to white. Later on, get into the layout. You should see page header. Display page header. No, I don't need this. Normal header. Let's change the color. You should see somewhere the color. On the design tab. Need this to be black. And icons and everything need to be white change let me change this color to white immediately cool publish the code which I have added which it will be on the notepad at the bottom you can just copy paste it on the additional CSS so that would work let me refresh this page I hope this is published let me quickly show you how to create this page with the link door this one so in case if you are wondering how to create advanced uh, page I have a separate playlist for this you can find this on my youtube channel on the playlist section about the elementor page design so I'm going to do the very minimum thing so these are the minimum thing which we have created click, click on this column we will change the height minimum height of 400 so for that you see the page let me add an image and show you so these images which we need click on insert, Im insert media and now position center no repeat cover so if you see the output you will see there is space on both these sides so to, to eliminate that click on the settings and uh, make this element of full width click on update the page will get reloaded and now if you view you will see the full screen select this and overlay change the color to black increase the opacity we need two columns so duplicate this so let's see whether we are able to copy this edit with Elementor so let me just create one and uh, later on I'll just copy the stuff I think it is white you can change the style over here one trim and that's it let me just copy this if we try pasting it here with it paste copy paste yeah it works delete this so I have shown you how to 
add the text the same way text editor you can style this over here you can change the color you can change the typography I'm just copying this I'm going to paste this here paste drag and drop it delete this section and just add the image click on this or you can click here I have already uploaded the image of water bottle just place it change the size and I think it's too big cool find the button also here to design the button what we can do is we can change the background color to black and everything seems normal water radius zero so you'll get some good looking rectangle box shop now can make this button a little bigger by choosing medium so if you see the full screen cool that works you can just reduce the opacity in order to see that now again four columns click on this button four column we need image and a text I just copy it and paste it here just need to upload the image choose this bottle and we just need to duplicate this duplicate duplicate again and one more time duplicate this and uh, whatever thing we have created it we need to delete this delete one delete two and finally delete three just change the image I'm going to pop this and do it we can change the title as well just typing TV and cool that's it in case if you want a hover effect on the hover you will see likewise you can experiment this I'm leaving this to you and after creating the category we'll be linking this over here custom link and first I'm just going to give you link and we'll be linking it for now we'll just create the title and we'll see up after ad after adding the product you will see how to add this so just copy it duplicate this one more time copy it paste we don't need this so this section is very easy just like this one just drag this and get it to the bottom I'm just doing it in a hurry way because we have a WooCommerce we, we have GoCommerce to create I have if you want I have a dedicated tutorial for this seems to be done finally this one this is very very simple just click on the plus template blocks after selecting this make sure the about is selected and uh, this is what I have chosen click here insert now we need to link the email address let me link this now we just need to change the text I'm leaving this to you but before that we just remove the padding on top and bottom so place it in the middle and cool so the product is done so now here we will be requiring a column because we will be pasting the short code here don't forget this 
for the feature product and uh, the product on sale cool publish publish this just update this and uh, on the home page of your website you would be able to see the changes once this is updated so after refreshing you will see this is the final output of our elemental product cool everything seems to be all right i think now it's time to install the woocommerce on the dashboard you would see so if you're doing anything let me install the wishlist plugin so configure the wishlist plugin let's go let this be default wishlist let me let it create automatically let the text we add to add to cart let this be on product listing as well continue click on continue just click on continue that's it it will get ready now again let's move to the dashboard let us create a menu first appearance menus let me name this main menu let me make this primary menu click on create menu let me add all the products all the pages to the menu if you want to create a custom page you have to create a page and uh, it will appear over here you just need to drag and drop it over so I think we don't have menu home page yeah it's here click on add to menu cool everything seems to be alright you can rearrange it click on save menu so after refreshing you see home wishlist card shop checkout and all things are at its place now let's configure the WooCommerce settings alright now let's start configuring the WooCommerce plugin the first thing we need to give the address let me just give the thing which is already saved to save time we are going to be in India we have Maharashtra zip code selling to only specific countries like sell to specific countries and which is India and the shipping location shift to all countries you sell to yes since I am selling only in India it is not applicable only for India Enable tax calculation, use coupon code and uh, it's Indian currency which is Indian rupee. Click on save change. The next thing product Here, don't change the shop page and uh, we don't need to do anything here. Placeholder unit for this case it's going to be gram and centimeter. Save change and then we have tax question yes now let this be exclusive let this be calculated based on shipping address yes shipping tax class shipping tax class based on cart item let this be standard rounding we don't need anything we'll be creating the GST tax GXT which is 12 percent let this be excluding tax show it only on the cart page while checkout so once you save you will see GST level here so you understand the concept of GST we need to know the location the shop location the shop location is in Maharashtra if the user is also from Maharashtra then we have three GST which is IGST, CGST and yes C sorry SGST. Cool. The CGST which is central tax which is applicable compulsory. So this twelve percent will be divided into two. 
which is 6 plus 6 6 plus 6 this 6 doesn't is compulsory for CGST the rest 6 is either for IGST or SGST in this case the shop is in Maharashtra and the user is also in Maharashtra so in this case yes CGST will be applied which is 6 percent in another case if the shop is in Maharashtra and the user is from Tamil Nadu which is my native and in this case IGST will be applied same way if the user is from Goa then again IGST if the user is from Gujarat then again IGST yes GST is, uh, com is a very rare, is a rare case IGST is again a rare case but CGST is applied irrelevant of CGST or SGST so let me show you how it will be displayed over here insert row let's first install the IGST which is for India it's 6 percent for compulsory we need to add 1 if it is not compulsory we will be adding 2 so since it is compulsory that means either the total is 12 percent but the 6 percent is compulsory which will be applied so for this reason I am using 1 and it's CGST central good sales tax service tax so let's remove the shipping add new in this case again Maharashtra now 6 percent the name is IGST here it should be 2 I'll show you why in a minute now we have third which is India Tamil Nadu these are the state codes in case if you know what is state code I have a list over here we need to be creating this let's continue this the 6 percent in this case sorry it's here C yes GST F and uh, the rest of the state it's IGST which is again 2 they were shipping now if you need Gujarat and the rest of the state G A sorry G A is for Goa and there is just AD Arunachal Pradesh AR Azam AS BR likewise I think it's VR 6% high GST 2% 2 2 means either 1 1 is compulsory click on save now the tax is calculated this way now let's get into the shipping method let's get a shipping zone first for Maharashtra add shipping method which is flat rate of 50 percent sorry flat rate of let's say 50 rupees since we are in the same state 50.00 into we have to write in this way because it will be applied for individual item if you order two item 50 into 2 if you order three item 50 into 3 likewise and uh, if you are from Tamil Nadu add shipping zone so you'd be adding a shipping zone so this is first thing I do <coughs> you can give any name here but here it should be coming from drop down for Tamil Nadu it's little far from Maharashtra so I would be adding shipping rate of 300 rupees so cool we have added Tamil Nadu so if you click on shipping zone at present we have created only two the first one is Maharashtra and the second one is so in case if it's not clear I would recommend you to watch the previous five episode of WooCommerce I have explained it clearly now let's get into the payment here you can just check on it now it's already checked click on account and pay off so there would be let's click on manage we need to add our you can give title it will be applied it will be on the QR code sorry on the GPA it will say that you are among free with UPI QR now here somewhere 
so this is the place where we are saying after payment make it as a hold or let's say processing and shop name this is the ID you'll find this on the GPay ID if you click on your photo on the photo once you click on photo you will see this ID and everything leave as it is click on save change everything's fine now next we don't have to do anything it's just time to create single product variable and you can leave this as it is let's click on product add new let's first create one single product and one your product and that's enough for this tutorial you have to click your to create the categories so here we have aluminium add new category class plastic you can create in this way or you can see there's a link over here you can create here as well since you're going to create only two I'm just using only two so let's first create the single product which is this one here you need to pass the name here you need to pass the description you can make this bold whichever way you like I will leave this to you Control V, Control V, and then make sure it's single product, virtual. You can see th the price here is 283. You can make this sale of 250 rupees. You can schedule it as well. I'm leaving it as it is. Tax class, GST, virtual product is selected on the inventory you need to add the unique identity number manage stock I have 100 left just notify me when it gets to 2 you can limit the product to 1 per order and once you create 1 or 2 orders you can link the product since it's first product you, you won't be able to link it we don't need attribute because this is not a variable product and that's it here you can give long description just obviously same over here here you can give the product image let me select image from the folder let me apply 3 select this on the feature product and for the gallery select the rest 2 and click on publish so single product is done the uh, variable product the big one this is very simple so, and this is a simple one paste this virtual product variable product taxable to GST 12 class select the image So you can I'm not pausing it because you can see where the files are so it's class one two and finally three select this as a single product for the gallery press shift and just select all relevant product and apply it now the inventory some SKU manage stock yes 100 left notify me when, when it's 12 you can fill it there's no shipping class because we have only one product so now we have created one product so you can call that with first three letter ASI ASI and here it comes select it attribute yes we have attribute the attribute here is size which is 1000, 310 and 760 add we have size we need to separate it with the 
five. And finally, use this for variation. Click on save. Once this is done, you'll see you can see size. And on the variation, it will take some time, and it will create create relation from all attribute click on go so you will see the three variation would be created so based on the variation you need to give the price uh, the product description so it says three variation added click on ok now you will see this is for first click on this and give the image any image and you can give SKU yes it's a virtual product and I'm going to selling sell going to sell it on this amount. Yes, it's a sale. Same as parent. Now this one. Give the image. Give the SKU. The virtual amount. Sale price. Actually, it's very too very much, but let it be. We are just practicing it. And third one. Some random value. Virtual amount sale price save so that's done for the simple variable product now we are going to see so let me just show you the example as well so the example of simple variable product is this one the simple product is somewhere here this one simple and simple product so you can see 700 100, 750 and somehow it is uh, not linked and then this is a single product without variation now finally the advanced variable product add new so that it says invalid category you adjust this for now so once here it's this one add the image so all of the images are added Let's select. Let's just select one for the featured image, and uh, for gallery image, let's select all by pressing Shift. And that's it. These details. It's a variable product. And tax class is GST inventory and some random value shipping linked yes we have created two value two files two products so ASI I believe and the second one is TRE and cool that's done now attribute so we have attribute of size as well as color so we'll be creating two attribute first one is size yes use it for variation first one is 100 500 milliliter and the second one is 1000 milliliter save attribute and now we need an option to create one more attribute which is color so the color is going to be yellow the color is this two three four five then comes red then comes blue then comes green and that's it click on save attribute so before saving you should have clicked use for variation color use for variation save attribute so now once this is done you have to click on variation create variation from all available yes okay if it doesn't work you can see zero variation is added we have to make this uh, just finding I uh, don't 
don't know why the color is not getting added. Let me get into attributes. Everything seems alright. go now it's working fine you can see eight variation is added so in case if it doesn't work you have to click on attributes and click save button that's how it worked for me now some irrelevant attribute is also created we have to delete that 500 milli has yellow and red yellow and red we don't need blue we don't need green so remove blue and we need to remove green Likewise, 1000 milliliter also only have blue and green, not yellow and red. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to pause this and work on offline. Now, the rest is same. We just need to fill the details. Just let me let me just randomly fix some values. Make sure to select virtual all element. Okay, the problem is we should not have created virtual. It's it is not virtual. I'm sorry for that. In the previous product also I have made this virtual. I'll go back end and make this non-virtual. So once everything is done. 66, sale price 500. Click on save. I have changed it on all the products. Now let me get into the main website link and click on shop page. You'll see all the product listed on the shop page. Let's see what need to be add next. Click on shop. Let's get me to this home page. So two product is listed and this one is without image. Fine. Let me select this. Okay, sidebar is remaining. So before sidebar let me get into the all products page dashboard on the all product page we have to set some product as a feature product or feature product so products all products now how we are going to do it you can see there's a star over here you have to click featured if you click on star that means this product is a featured product so where we are going to add click on the home page in the home page we would be adding some short code and that short code if will be getting where we will be getting short code WooCommerce short code you have to type WooCommerce short code at the Google and the first link will give you the short code for adding feature product and products which are on sale so I think the product is a feature product so let me add the home and here oh, you will be adding short code drag and drop it so type sale you will be getting the sale, yeah, here it is just phase a short code make sure we have four columns apply actually got applied and then featured F -E -A -T -U -R -E -T. here we have featured here you can see column 2 is there, we have to make this 4 let this load on so if you load on sale product is there so feature product we have to find short code again drag and drop it over here paste it and uh, let the column be 4 since we have only one feature product one v one will be displayed click on update now for the customization you have to get into the appearance 
customize and for the sidebar click on the shop you would be getting into these appearance widgets you can see price filter is there and the category is also there everything seems alright now one more thing if you click on a any product if you click any product you will see the category so you have to get that link so you can see category is there click on this category link and take this link for this we have only one product so take this link and get into the home page let's see where's home page yeah here it is and if you remember you have to click on click on this and make this editable let's see i think it's home page click on this or click on this image custom link just replace this with category click on update and that's done i think everything almost everything is done now we have to check sorry coupon is missing right so for the coupon woocommerce you will find coupons and the coupon was i believe uim128 we don't need to switch for now let it switch flat 100 percent off this is our shop we can do whatever we want i think it's not copy probably ui monk 28 on all small fix percentage discount 100 percentage click on publish you can make the expiry date of the coupon i'm leaving this to you now let's get into the working working site and let's shop with 100% coupon and let's check whether the shipping classes uh, shipping uh, attribute is added or not click on shop let's buy this coupon link in new tab single product no i have read all these and everything seems working fine since this this was the first product there is no uh, outsell product add to cart check out type any value so it's Maharashtra displayed so 50 percent let me make this Tamil Nadu I think it should be 300 fin code 60028 so you can see shipping has been changed to 300 some values of phone at the rate gmail.com some random value shipping address no, no different shipping address so if you see the login is not there because on the WooCommerce page setting we have to mandatorily make user to account. so click on account and privacy allow customer to create account during checkout yes allow customer on my account page so let me remove this create an account send it to another yes don't do it allow customer to log into existing account during checkout yes you can do that click on save changes and we need to refresh it again I will fill all this and show you we just need to see whether we are able to create an account on checkout so everything seems to be working Tamil Nadu 300 let me make this Maharashtra 50 let's check GST so now SGST is applied if I make this Tamil Nadu it should be IGST yes IGST outside so CGST is common so our two things are working fine <coughs> shipping and uh, tax is working fine now at the rate gmail.com create an account admin 
2894 everything seems all right each uh anything which anyway we're not going to say proceed to check out it should say take, take some time and give you the qr code to scan and pay you by g pay you got it close this now let's try to apply coupon code click here to enter coupon code u i m o n k 28 so once i apply you will see 100% off i have a coupon code yes 2894 apply coupon i think i think it's just 28 So they were confused. Now I believe two fifty rupees coupon detection two fifty rupees. So it's just the shipping charge you have to pay. Cool. Everything seems to be working fine. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening. We'll meet you in another WooCommerce series.